Dear YouTube family, welcome back to my channel. If you are looking to master ServiceNow development, you are at right place. This channel mainly focused on coding and scenario based questions that eventually help you to crack the interviews. Please subscribe to my channel. This helps and motivate me to create good content for all of you. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the practical use case of a script include. So our use cases, no further ticket should be assigned to a user if user already has five ticket in his or her queue. Let's see the practical demonstration of this use case and thereafter we will see the coding part of it. Here is the incident table you can see. If we talk about this assigned to person Beth Angelin, if I do so matching on it, he is already having five ticket in his queue. So if I try to assign a new ticket to this person, we should be getting an error that this person is already having five tickets. Let's talk about this incident 161. What I am doing is I am trying to assign this incident to this person called Beth Angelin. Let me write the name. So as soon as I try to assign this person, the assign to field uh, become empty and it is giving me an error that please select another person to work on this incident. This person is already having more than five tickets assigned. Okay. So how we can implement this? First thing must be clear to all of you that we need to write a on change client script because we are changing this assign to field. Okay. Thereafter, for the logic, we will write a script include and we will call that script include in our client side of a script. So let's go back on this personal development instance and we will start doing a scripting part of it. First, we will create a on change client script on incident table. Click on new. Get some similar name get assigned to count. Okay, the type will be on change and which field it will be the assigned to field. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to call a script include into it because the count and other things is all only available on the server side we need to use glide aggregate to do the count on uh, this assigned to field so what i need to do is we need to create a script include and we need to call that script include into it okay so what i'm doing is i'm just creating a script include I have given name count assigned to util. Okay, it will be client callable. Give some role to access this client script include. Hmm. I need to create a function into it.
so here our script include is ready our function is not ready but we need to call it okay so we all know that we can call a script include in client side using the glide ajax right First, we need to do add param for the function. So it will be sys perm and the function name. Copy from here. Okay. And how we can get the count based on the assigned to value? So we need to pass that assigned to value to this script include. And what will be the assigned to value? It will be the new value which we change while choosing the assigned to. So what I'll do, I'll just simply write j dot add another param, add param. And I'll give sys perm underscore assigned to. And it will be new value of the changed field. and a callback function to support this glide ajax So until here, this is the common structure of any client script while we call a script include. There is nothing new into it. Okay. Now let's work on the logic part. And where we write logic, we write logic in the script include. So I am going back on my script include where we have created this function called get count. Now we need we need to count the incident where the assigned to is this person which we are selecting. So what I'll do I'll uh, for count I'll use glide aggregate not glide record. Uh, this is the best practice according to service now. So we are going with the best practices only. So I'll write gr equals to new glide aggregate. on incident table okay i am adding a query that assigned to should be which person the person we are select we are going to select on this incident so it is the new value and what is the new value in this client script? This we are passing the new value into this system assigned to. How we can receive it on the script include end? By the syntax, this dot get parameter. Okay. Now we got the query created and now we can add the aggregate on this assigned to count. So what it will be gr dot add aggregate counts. What count? This assigned to count. We need to query it and we are using while because we should be getting the more than one result. So while gr dot next.
and taking a variable called assign incident. Okay, so when we do add aggregate, we need to do get aggregate as well. Query will remain same. So I am copying it from here. Okay, so in this assigned incident, we will get the count, and this is what we required on the client side for our condition. So I just need to return this value return. So our logic is ready. In this assigned incident, what we are doing, we are returning the number of incident assigned to a person whom we are selecting in this assigned to value. Let's save this. Okay. And now, what we can do under this callback function, what we will get? We will get the answer. In the answer variable, what we are saving, we are saving the return result of the script include. Okay. So we all know that in script include return result are is in XML format. So we need to get the attribute of this XML format. How we can do that? We need to extract it using where answer equals to response dot it's quite a big syntax response xml document get attribute answer fine now if answer is greater than or equals to 5 what we can do we can give a error message so how we can give an error message on the client side why this g underscore form dot add error message please we can give a error message please select another person to work on this incident selected user is already having five or Okay. Now, after giving the error message, we need to reset the value of assigned to as well. So, what I'll do, I'll do g underscore form dot set value of assigned to field. So my client script is ready. Let me explain it again what I'm doing here. This is the simple syntax to call a script include and adding the parameter into it. So this is common for all. And what I'm doing here is we are saving the return result from the script include in this answer variable. Okay, so this answer variable will get the count of the assigned incident to a person whom we are selecting. Okay. If this value is greater than or equals to 5, we are giving an error message. Thereafter, we are resetting the value of assigned to field. Okay, so we can test it out now. The similar way I shown in you is starting. It will, it will give the result. Let me refresh it and give the value as 
pathangeli okay so here you can see that it is again getting the same error message and this assigned to value is clear okay thank you for watching if you have any question any doubt from this video this is very good uh, learning for this script include please do a comment and if you really like this video please leave a good comment wishing you a good day thank you